What's up, everybody? Jason here with jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Panini Hoops Basketball Hobby. Five box break. Random teams number 10 just sold out. So, again, guys, 30 total spots. Everybody gets a random team in the NBA. Just remember, all rookies, inserts, parallel, numbered cards, etc. will ship. Just no veteran cards unless they are Luka, LeBron, Giannis, Zion, and Ja. Those will ship. The rest of the veteran base cards will not. <clears throat> so, here we go. Let's roll the dice. And we got ourselves a one and a two for three times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Austin. Ben and Ted. Three times. One, two, and three. Denver Nuggets down to the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, Austin with the Denver Nuggets, Brian with the Spurs, Lamb with the Raptors. Nick with the Grizzlies, Ted with the T-Wolves, Brian Clay with the Nets, Brian M. With the Mavericks, Brian H. Man, three straight Bryans. With the Hawks. Ron with the 76ers. Ted with the Celtics. Mojo, you got the Lakers. Rick Thomas with the Pacers. Anthony with the Warriors. Peter with the Thunder. Pierre with the Kings. Brian with the um, uh, Suns. Brian P. That's four different Bryans in here. Wow. Actually, yeah, four different Bryans. Nick with the Pistons. Alexander with the Heat. James with the Pelicans. Oliver with the Magic. James with the Rockets. Peter Clark with the Jazz. Shannon with the Hornets. Uh, Patrick Garcia with the Cavs, Serenity with the Clippers, um, John with the Knicks, as well as the Wizards, Ted with the Bulls, Gary with the Blazers, and Ted with the Bucks. Did you really, though? That's nice, man. Are you going to sell it or are you going to rip the pack? I'd rip it. Alright guys, well, a lot of trade chatter. All these teams are for trade. Lakers, Nuggets, Pacers, Magic. How about uh, someone propose a trade between those teams? You guys see the Anthony Davis went down and I was just talking to Joe about it, but isn't it wild that <clears throat> Anthony Davis missed the last couple games with an Achilles injury, but what does an Achilles injury actually mean? I feel like when you have an Achilles injury, that's not good. Either it's about to tear or it's pretty damaged. And then he walks off like the way he did. Does not look good. Yeah, I think he tore the Achilles. You know, it's wild. Anthony Davis last year was like the first time he was pretty much healthy all year. And then take his whole career. Lakers going to have to find another superstar for this year. Magic for Nuggets? No. Denied. Raptors for trade? I'll give you guys another 30 seconds.
All right, trade with the clothes, guys. Sorry. Everybody's running to the Staples Center right now to donate their Achilles for Anthony Davis. I'm sure there's a big line outside the locker room right now. So five box break. One, two, three, four, five. We got it. We got it. Well, all I'm saying is that, like, who gets blamed for the injury, per se? Because I just feel like an Achilles is not like any other ligament besides. Just, I don't know. I guess I don't really know too much about it, but, like, I'm trying to compare it to an ACL or, like, an MCL. Where it's, like, you can kind of sprain those or have partial tears and those can heal but I feel like an Achilles injury just kind of does it really even heal like I just feel like when people snap those you just have to fully replace them and it just happens just out of nowhere sometimes Joe was saying he was hearing Davis had a calf injury for the last couple of games but I seen on TV that they were calling it Achilles which is kind of connected together so I want to say it was Kevin Durant in the playoffs when he like you know pushed off you can legit see the the snap of the Achilles and it goes all the way up to like the calf I remember you can see it like vibrating in slow motion all I'm saying is like man it didn't look good when he was out for a couple games for an Achilles injury it's like how long does that usually take you know obviously he felt good enough to play over the weekend or the last game but I don't, I don't know I feel like an Achilles injury just happens after the wear and tear. Alright, good luck guys. Trey Young, high voltage. Precious. And Jared Culver. Hoops Inc. Minnesota T was going to Ted. LeBron. James Wiseman. We got Tony Craig to 199. Look at PJs. Precious Saban Lee, Tyrese Halliburton, Obi Toppin, Spark Plugs, Steph Curry. Isaac Okoro, Devin Vassell, John Morant, Prime Time, Obi Toppin, Paul Anthony. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're most likely gonna get at least five, Oliver. Bill Russell. Alaski. For the Thunder. Einhorn is a man. Legends of the game, Chris Mullen. Anthony Edwards. Saudi Bay. Any quickly? Wow. What about a little Zion, ten out of ninety nine.
Um, if it sells out, Billy, and then also besides selling out the mixer straight up, uh, we would need to sell out two hangers, number five and six. So potentially can, but if it doesn't, it'll definitely go tomorrow. So we have three full spots left at 370 or 470 a spot. And then we have two fillers to fill up, which have four each four spots in each of them. So we're getting close, though. I, I don't think it goes past tomorrow. Lamello. BJ Armstrong. No problem, man. Tyrese Halliburton. And we got Tyrell Terry. Or Tyrell Terry. It's a 99. Larry Bird tribute, that's a nice one. James Wiseman. Karimzo Jabbar. <clears throat> All right, we got a John ja Morant high voltage. Very nice. Very strong. Isaac Okoro. Wow, Anthony Edwards number to 199. Well, that right there. Who has the uh, Minnesota T Wolves? Ted does. Look at that. Numbered, Anthony Edwards. Obi Toppin, Tyrese Maxey, Shea, Killian, Obi, Malachi, Legends of the Ball, Scotty P, Cole Anthony, Jordan Noir. Milwaukee Bucks going to Ted Anthony Edwards Legends of the Game, Dikembe Matumbo to one ninety nine.
Next box, guys. Got him. All right. Giannis tribute. Adam ordered myself a heart shaped pizza at <clears throat> for Mickey's Deli. The wife obviously didn't want any because she's not a big pizza lover like me, so she got her own food, but I got a heart shaped pizza. Yeah, she ended up getting some Peruvian food from uh, this place down the street, Lomo Soltado. Tyrese Halliburton from Pollo Inca. Dennis Rodman, the worm. Bulls. Look at that. <clears throat> You know, I mean, so what? What do they taste like? I, I mean, I, I like pop tarts, but what? What do the bites taste like? It's like, it's like seeing the mini tiny tacos from Jack in the Box. You know, they didn't. They didn't really hit. Uh, they didn't really hit the same like the original. You know, Luka Doncic to one ninety nine. Nice for the Dallas Mavericks right there, Brian. As of late, man, Dallas or Luka has just been killing it. Two nice numbered cards. Rex, I'm not going to break that cello if you don't get it now. Executive decision. Zeke. Donovan Mitchell. High voltage. Isaac Okoro. And we got a green Clint Capella.
Bites are a, l- a little crispier. I like crispy. Well, honestly, I mean, I can eat Pop Tarts straight off the wrapper, or you know, if you get like the strawberry ones or something like that, you know, the original. Just you know, you pop it into the conventional oven or something toaster. Well, you know, well, first of all, is there Jack in the Boxes on the East Coast? I don't even know if there is, but um, Jack in the Box has these uh, two for, they're not even a dollar anymore. I think they're like dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty now, but um, really, actually, their tacos are not bad, man. I don't know. I mean, it's like their food is like kind of whatever. It's probably not the healthiest for you anyways, but their tacos are clutch. They're just, I don't know, honestly, what are they even made of? I totally forget. Is it tofu? I don't even remember. But um, they created tiny tacos. So like instead of just getting the two for two for a dollar something, they created like little mini ones, and it's like three bucks, but you get like fifteen mini tacos. So literally like this small. Vernon Carey Jr. for the Hornets. Yeah, you can get like a little box now of tiny tacos, and they're like there's like 15 of them for like three, four bucks. Drew Holiday. Future Legends of the Ball, Rui Hachimura. You know what they're made out, Oliver? If you know or, or tell me, I, I forgot what they're. Well, I forgot what even meat it is, and I don't even think it is meat, right? Isn't it like? Isn't it like? Uh, not like real meat. Yeah, it's like three or four bucks for fifteen little ones. <laughs> I just remember when like Jack in the Box created like those munchy meals that they only make after nine o'clock. It was like, dude, it was straight up for like, for those people having a very chill night. And wanted like something crazy. It's like they got home and got a jumbo jack, but then also added an extra two buns and created a grilled cheese on top and <laughs> all this wild stuff. So when I seen them create tiny tacos, I'm like, I know who they're trying to target. <laughs> right, right. Alright, two more boxes, guys. We are almost there. Chris Paul.
already. Anthony Edwards. Man, you quickly. Spark plugs, RJ Barrett. Tyrese Halliburton, Saban Lee. You eat both of those together, Rex? I've tried their famous bowls. This one with what? Popcorn chicken, mashed potatoes, cheese, and and their uh, their um, gravy. That's it, right? Derek Coleman. But I don't I don't know if I'd eat it with a grilled cheese grilled cheese burrito though. And is that eat also at KFC? Cause I've never heard of that. The one thing I've always loved from KFC is is like the 80 highlights. Which one? Oh, this one right here is a short print. Cool. The only the one thing I really loved from KFC and I always will is first of all their their gravy and mashed potatoes for some reason is just delicious. It's like unmatched. And I I love their biscuits. <laughs> like I could just eat that. The chicken is like whatever. I mean I don't really care. Sometimes I feel like it's not even good. But, um, yeah, they're, I don't know, Just something else. I never got into, like, Church's Chicken. My parents, well, before, like, I was born, I guess they used to go to Church's Chicken a lot, but then they stopped going. <clears throat> and got into, like, KFC. What happened? Oh, really? Oh, gotcha. But a grilled cheese burrito is like... But they have grilled cheese burritos at KFC? Because I've never... I've never, like, heard of that before. That must be, like, something on the East Coast type of deal. Skylar Mays. You know, I used to like it a lot, but... I've tried other places with great mac and cheese, and like the one that stands out to me is the one my wife loves the most. Her favorite mac and cheese is from Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. It's pretty strong. It's also very expensive, though. <laughs> you get like a little cup for like six bucks, but it's like all homemade. Honestly, the Roscoe's Chicken is great, but I go for the, I go for the the waffles, and the waffles are good. Kevin Love. <clears throat> Cole Anthony. Or sorry, Anthony Towns, not Cole Anthony. Oh, that's right, that's right. There are Taco Bell's KFCs. You're right, you're right. I've seen those before. But you could just get both of them at the same time, right? Because you're just ordering from both. <laughs> True, probably, Mojo. <laughs> I guess I am. We can't. I guess we can't compare it then, right? It's like I would tell people when we compare like In N Out to like, you know, Whataburger and all these other places. It's like, well, you know, Five Guys, like, can you consider Five Guys a fast food? Because there's no drive through for fa for Five Guys, and you know, always people always complain about their their prices, but at the same time, I mean, right, you're paying for probably better better everything. <clears throat> I've seen KFC Long John Silvers. I, I, I don't see them a lot, but I I, I want to say that there is one of those off of Torrance over there, you know? Off of Torrance and uh, going that way close by here, but I've seen those combinations of Long Johns and KFCs. Emmanuel Quigley. Cassius Winston. I've never actually tried anything from Long John Silver's. That's like that's like a seafood fish place, right? Jimmy Butler high voltage. Like I just ate pizza, guys, but you're making me hungry again. Although I'm not really hungry, but.
Yeah, the one thing I do hate that there really isn't much in this area per se is uh, Dairy Queen. I love me their, my peanut buster parfait. There's a ton of Dairy Queens everywhere in or in, in Arizona, so anytime I go finish the go uh go uh to the in laws house now that they live over there. Dairy Queen's right there. I even got Payways. Payways is so good. And again, they got rid of a lot of those here in this area. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, though. It, it probably is considered fast food because it is quick and convenient, but compared to, like, you know, ones with drive through that's why you can say Whataburger, you can say, you know, in and out you can say all these other ones, but when people complain about their prices, I'm like, well, it's, like, better meat quality, right, and all this stuff. That's why I always just tell people, like, I mean, I might be biased living here, but in and out man, for their price, the freshness, the quality, everything. Unmatched. Although I have yet to try, like, Whataburger, like, like, fresh, like, eat it there. I don't think I've ever eaten Whataburger, like, in Texas or wherever I went. I actually have a lot of Whataburgers in, in, in Arizona, but... I've never eaten it, like, right when you get it out from the order. I've always, like, got it drive through, taking it back to, like, the hotel or, you know, something like that. Or I feel like i got to try it like that. <clears throat> the Habit, yeah. It's one across the street now from us. Really, Mojo? That just must be you're just so used to Whataburger, probably. Ah, uh, see that, that that that's a Texas thing right there. You you're just Whataburger biased. That's okay though. Arthur, there's a lot of Whataburgers over there in Arizona too, shockingly. I guess now there is a lot of in and outs now too, I guess. But it's not it's not it's not fresh like in and out guys. Come on. Be real. There has to be Whataburger in Dallas, isn't is did didn't it start in Dallas? I mean isn't it like a, a Texas thing? Stop, Arthur, stop. Sonic, I mean, I don't even go there for food. I <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, you can eat food at Sonic, but I just go for more of their, like, desserts and drinks. Well, this debate will always continue, guys. It's like someone will say from New York, uh, what's the, what's the, what's the New York one again? Um, and what is it called? Uh, tip of my tongue right now. Um, what is it, guys? Tell me right now. Shake Shack. Oh, did it really? Started in Corpus Christi? Where Salinas is from? Luca. Oh, White Castle, that's right. <laughs> I know. Shake Shack is actually pretty good. I actually like it too, but it's, <laughs> everything is very tiny. <laughs> it's like, man, it's like I got to order two burgers. But again, like I always tell people, I'm not a very picky person, so. So whatever. I, I eat everything. I've never tried White Castle. Every time I see Harold and Kumar White Castle, go to White Castle, I mean, I always just think I want to eat it so bad because they make it sound so amazing. Eric Pascal. James Wiseman. Yeah, I, that's the Shake Shack that I would go to right there where the little mini Randy Donuts is at in the same in the same little uh, same little shopping center kind of deal. Yeah, that's the one I would go to there. That's the closest one here, Shake Shack. I was telling like Mojo that 
I mean, my my wife loves it more than I do. Cause she's a burger girl, but um, uh, the burger bar at that little shopping place too. Um, what did I tell you? What's called again? Oh, it's in my tongue too again. Oh, we're speaking of food. Hobdotty. Hobdotty. Now that well, that is very gourmet burger right there. That's like next level, you know. But that stuff that that place is good too. Isaac of Coral. Tyrell Terry. Farmer Boys, yeah. I, that sounds familiar, Mojo. I don't know, though. I, I definitely want to look that up. I, I feel like I've heard of, of, of that place. Yeah. That sounds familiar. I don't know. I already know my wife tonight's gonna want me to drive her to Canes. They're actually building a Canes nearby my apartment. Actually, she's so excited about that. Oh, is that Fat Burger? Or are you just saying Fat Burger? Throwing it out there. Yep, fat burger, two in the morning, got the fat burger. Even saw the lights of the Goodyear blimp, and it said ice cubes a pimp. Trey Young, the 25. Yeah, they're finally building all these different canes. <laughs> um, all in this like South Bay area now. Like the one in Torrance, I think it's pretty much almost like built up and it's gonna open up like soon. The one in Gardena is gonna be uh, next to the Target in the same plaza. Which I, you know, what's weird is that I've always, uh, I've always felt like every Canes I've ever been to always was next to a Target. Trash, man. Oh, you got different taste buds. Portillo's, yes, that place is amazing. I tried it actually in Chicago, but there is one in Buena Park. Anthony Edwards. You like payways, Arthur? You've been to payways? There's a lot of those in Arizona. I'm very jealous. I'd eat that like almost every other day, to be honest. Get my low man chicken noodles. But that's but that's but that that's what they're good at, Mojo. I mean, I, I kind of like the. I'm, I'm an options guy too, right? I mean, if I go to like you know, like that's why I always say like to me like Chick Fil A, right? You can get a sandwich of it. You can get it's like going to like a Mexican like Alberto's. Like you're pretty much gonna eat the same thing, but either you're gonna get it in a taco form, you're gonna get it in a burrito form, you're gonna get it in you know, uh, all these different forms. But you know, I like the options too. But I mean, they're just they're just good at chicken strips. That's that's all they do. I would prefer to eat that over, like, any other, like, you know, Asian, like, Chinese fast food restaurant or anything like that. Obviously, it's more Japanese because they have, like, you know, sushi and stuff. But to me, I love Peiwis. <laughs> that is diabetes in a cup. But, like, uh, Arthur says, so good. I, I choose Blaze, Oliver. I'm more of a Blaze guy. Apology just doesn't taste the same. I think I also tried that Pizza Rev in this area too, Oliver. I think there's one over there in El Segundo, which is not bad either, but I mean, I'm more of a Blaze guy. I know, that's right. LeBron's invested into those too, so got to make him more money, you know? Yeah, 
Well, I'm trying. I always stop in Buckeye just to get that McDonald's in the morning or whatever. I just fill up or something because I usually just don't like to like fill up all the way out there where my in-laws are at. I'm always in that little Buckeye area. But I'm always there like at 4 or 5 in the morning though. Alrighty guys, so I'll do a quick recap. You know, I've never been, um, you know, another place I noticed that there's a lot of over there in, in uh, Arizona is, uh, I've never been to Cracker Barrel. I hear a lot of mixed reviews on that place. Like okay, or just say you know not a good, just not a food. Yeah. Another place I know my wife like was like one of those what are those Black Bear Diners? I think I think those are kind of around too, right? All right, guys. Well, there you go. I mean, a lot of rookie stuff here. So they'll be all top loader for you. Big stack here. There's like actually four stacks of of rookie rookies and inserts and stuff like that. Numbered cards. I've never been a sizzler. <laughs> I've never been a sizzler. <laughs> Y'all, you can get this dumb dad the sizzler. Isn't that a reference from uh, from what's that movie with Adam Sandler? <laughs> God bless. All right, guys. Well, here you go. Derek Coleman, Lamella Ball, Ryan Carey Jr. is Anthony Edwards, Luka Doncic numbered. You got Dennis Rodman, Julian, uh, Jordan Noir, Lamelo, B.J. Armstrong, Lamelo numbered, Tyrell Terry, Anthony Edwards numbered 199, Derek Culver, Aleski, Zion to 99, Devin Vassell, Trey Young. Oh, did I get that one confused? Okay, yeah. I, I think I heard that in that movie too. With uh, what's his name? Uh. Woody Harrelson, Cassius Winston, LaMelo Ball, Jimmy Butler, Mike Conley, and Skylar Mays, numbered card. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, that's it for us here. This was Hoops Hobby 5-Box Break, Random Teams number 10 on jazbeescasebreaks.com.